Have you guys ever heard of Minecraft? Well, have you ever heard of my friend Pig here? It's pretty sick, and so is my friend Pig. Aren't you cool, Pig? Uh, walk away. Okay, Minecraft is great, even if you don't play it and just watch videos on it. But not every game is perfect. And that just drives me nuts. But today I stand against all of this and I say, my pig friend is back. Hey, buddy. Today we're gonna make Minecraft perfect. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Actually, wait, I have an idea. Before we can make the game perfect, let's start with something that makes us angry in the game. Something that doesn't make just me angry, but everyone in the game angry. If we solve that problem, that is one more step to a perfect Minecraft. Ah, shulkers, the most beautiful creatures in the world, but for some reason they make you rage quit so hard that you didn't even know your keyboard could snap in that many different ways. Introducing the revolutionary shulker bomb. For only two payments of $19.95, you can get your shulker bombs today. Simply drop a flint and steel on your shulker and they will explode, giving you still the levitation that you desire for. So it's a wonderful cause to a great solution. No, but seriously though, shulker bombs are the new type of of shulker they still give you the levitation which is great they still shoot at you which is kind of annoying but it's a lot easier to kill them just simply hit them with the flint and steel and they turn into their best friend creeper whenever the shulker bomb is activated all the mobs around it as well will begin to levitate for about i say 10 or so seconds and then when they drop most of them are actually going to die unless they're chickens so that poor little sheep right there is to his death. But if you're a chicken, you have wings built into you, so you, you kind of just saved yourself, so you're good. You are shulker proof. Good job, chickens. I swear, you're gonna be the last one alive in this Minecraft world. <laughs> This is a good one for your neighbors to stop giving you cakes that are actually lies. This is not funny, okay? The cake is a lie, we get it. Well, not all the cakes are a lie, but the ones that your neighbors gave you are a lie. I'm gonna show you guys how to prevent this from happening. Take a command block, copy the quicksand command, switch over to always active, hit done, and you have quicksand in your Minecraft world, wherever the command blocks went. I don't, yeah, they like flew away. And also everything you guys see in this video is all done by commands. If you guys want a link to all the commands, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go ahead and put a ton of grass over sand. Now it has to be over sand. If there's any other block under it, it unfortunately will not work because we're making quick sand. Like, come on. Now that you have all your grass laid out in front of your house with sand under it, go ahead and grab your trusty old shovel. I like to keep mine on the side of my house, not in a chest because that's old fashioned. Go ahead and make all the grass into like the grass paths so right click all the grass with shovels and oh i accidentally fell into the quicksand no <laughs> a little note to self don't fall into your own quicksand trap now your house is all quicksand now your neighbors are probably like oh look they cleaned up their yard no yeah i didn't clean up my yard i'm just trying to troll you so whenever they step on this they will instantly teleport under into the sand and suffocate they also have the wither two effect which you die pretty fast on yeah you can say goodbye to the neighbor and say, hey, your cake is a lie. Are you tired of pigs being slower than ever? You're just trying to get to work, but it seems like the pigs have other plans. Well, recently we have found a solution to all these problems and it's sugar. Hey, little buddy. Oh, you like the carrot on the stick? Well, here's the thing. I need to get to work really quickly and you guys are normally like super slow. So uh, here, just let me hop on you. There we go. Okay. Let's give you a little bit of sugar, buddy. There you go. How many do you need? All right, let's try. Woo! <laughs> so yeah, pigs are slightly improved. They're a lot quicker. But the problem is, is they eat the sugar really fast and they go back to normal. So you're going to need like four stacks of sugar if you're going to travel like 150 blocks. That's okay. I got a lot more where this came from. All right, go, buddy. Come on. Let's make it to work really quickly. Well, we still haven't solved the problem of pigs going across water. But, you know, that, that'll be next episode. <laughs> Squids in Minecraft are just such beautiful characters. Characters? I mean animals. Now, I always have had a problem with squids in Minecraft. Not because, well, they're squids, but because they don't do anything but drop ink sacks. Like, come on. Like, I know squids in real life are, like, vicious. Like, they're out there, like, attacking sharks and, like, you like, flying and... I don't know. I just feel like squids in Minecraft are pretty lame. So that's why today we made them a little more better. Also, can we take a moment to just realize how perfect of a circle 
this little pond is like look at this this is like naturally generated and it's like perfect and it's like really satisfying anyways hop into the water with some squids and if you get close to them they will actually shoot ink at you and cause you to be pretty much uh, have some blindness if i get close to one of these squids he will pretty much just decide to oh there it is yep okay and now i have blindness too for about five to six seconds because you got a ton of ink in your eyes i think that is a really cool trait and uh, i think squid should have that I think all squid should have that. They need some sort of defense, especially with all the new dolphins and turtles and fish in Minecraft. The squids need an upgrade. Hashtag save the squids. I feel like I feel like the Minecraft creators are just forgetting about the squids, you know? Like they're so boring. After a long day at work, you're headed home, not landing in the quicksand trap that you set for your neighbors and not eating the cake that's alive. But you do want to hang up all your armor. But let's change up armor stands. Let's make them different. If you throw two sticks onto an armor stand, it will actually add arms. Now, if you throw shears on an armor stand, it will make it a mini armor stand, kind of like as if it's a trophy for like a desk or a shelf. Now, I think this is really, really cool. You can still put your armor on them as well. I go here to this mini one and I can put my armor on it. And look, it's like mini armor. It's so cute. It's kind of basic like a baby zombie so it kind of gives me nightmares when i see one of these at night you know like if i'm sleeping and i look over my armor stand i like get a dream of like a baby zombie and i like pee myself a little bit but it's okay you guys probably noticed that this one doesn't have arms so if you throw two sticks on an armor stand give it arms and then throw shears on it it will turn into a baby armor stand with arms pretty cool this quick little command basically adds more customization to your armor stands in minecraft yo and also don't eat the cake yeah it's a lie oh flip come on Oh, this has already happened to me five times this week. <laughs> Last time I tried in real life, leaves don't really hold humans. So someone tell me why. Oh, there's an ocean monument behind us. That's pretty cool. But why does it make sense that a Minecraft player holding 2,304 golden blocks can stand on a leaf when all these gold blocks weigh 42,549 pounds, but yet not break any of the leaves? Someone tell me how that makes any sense. It doesn't. I'm literally holding two. 2,304 golden blocks that weigh 42,549 pounds. That is 19.3 metric tons. And you're telling me that a little leaf is holding me up. That's why we have the realistic leaf command in this Minecraft world. If we hop over to these leaves over here, we're now going to fall through the tree and also take a little bit damage because we're hitting a ton of branches on the way down. I mean, come on. It makes sense. Like if I hop into this tree, I'm just going to fall through it and take a lot of damage. And that's going to hurt. It's just like jumping through a bush. If you jump through a bush, you really think the bush is just going to hold you. Okay, well, maybe if you find a really sturdy bush. But for the most part, no. Now, I know this really changes changes the game and doesn't allow us to jump up things and it makes things more difficult but that's the whole point of the game we're trying to make it perfect we're trying to make it realistic and this is a start a start to a new minecraft world with leaves that actually hurt now speaking of being realistic here i have a ton of gold on me and i weigh a lot so if i jump on glass wouldn't it break well a normal minecraft no glass would never break you could put five thousand blocks of gold on glass and it would never snap in real life you drop your phone five feet from your pocket and the whole thing shatters and goes into a black hole with this beautiful minecraft command that we just placed we can land on glass and that was a fail and when you go ahead and land on the glass it will simply break let's go ahead and try it again land on the glass it breaks i mean it makes sense it's like if you were accidentally to throw a baseball at the window i mean hey the glass is probably gonna break or crack well in minecraft it's the same thing <laughs> Are you constantly tired of letter wings not working for you? Like, come on, your pig broke yesterday, but now your wings? Ladies and gentlemen, I have new, powerful, improved electro wings for you. And also, when you smash the ground, they actually kind of explode, which is pretty cool and epic. Because, like, if you're going pretty fast and catching speed, I mean, something's gonna blow up, right? Well, the sunset is beautiful. Let's go ahead and hop off here, gain some massive, massive speed, and slam into the ground! Maybe we need a little bit more speed. All right, I think this should be enough speed. Let's go ahead and whoa! Oh my gosh. So when you see those white particles coming out from behind you, that means you are basically ready to explode. Hey, chickens. What's up? <laughs> what an epic landing. So, uh, yeah. 
that happened. Let's see if we get any baby chickens from this. Oh, we didn't get anything. Well, that's kind of lame. So the electric wings are improved. Whenever you're going at extremely fast speeds and you land on the ground, instead of just having a peaceful landing, like, oh, you didn't even disrupt a single piece of grass because you totally didn't come in at 180 miles per hour. Well, now it's a little more realistic when you're flying in and you hit the ground at 180 miles per hour, stuff is gonna blow up just a little bit. Okay, so you moved into your new Minecraft dirt house. You want to improve it and make granite countertops. But then you put up those countertops and you realize, wow, these are really ugly. Well, unfortunately, life is hard and you can't get your money back for granite. So now you can delete them from the universe. And it's called the Granite Removal Program for only $19.95. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's, it's free. We have our beautiful granite here. Let's be honest. No one uses this stuff. Well, sometimes if you're playing Minecraft Hunger Games, you'll see some of this in the map somewhere. Let's go ahead and place down our command block, copy and paste our granite, remove granite command and hit done. It's going to spawn in some command blocks. The command blocks will probably eat you. It's pretty normal. After the command blocks ate you, go ahead and type into chat slash trigger granite brush set one. And then you're going to, some texts are going to pop up. Go ahead and click on disable granite paintbrush in this world and uh, sorry, you clicked the top one. Okay, you go ahead and click it and it turns all the granite into your Minecraft world into stone. Now, it does take a little bit, but it does do it. And now you can see it is all stone. It gives you more stone in your Minecraft world and less stress. Now, for Minecraft building and like really cool maps and stuff, granite is very useful. But other than that, if you're in a Minecraft survival world, get out of here you're not gonna use granite let's be honest but guys hopefully this video has helped you uh with some things that you need to improve in your minecraft world this video is really fun to make if you guys could click the like button and the subscribe button before you guys go that would be greatly greatly appreciated when you guys click that subscribe button you guys will be notified when i upload my new video tomorrow and you do not want to miss tomorrow's video nor this weekend's videos because they are insane definitely be sure to click that subscribe button guys because you do not want to miss out on some of the content that's coming out in december so guys thank Thank you so much for watching i wish you all a safe and fantastic rest of your day and let me know in the comment section below which one of these commands or things was your favorite improvement to minecraft thank you all so much for watching have a safe and fantastic rest of your day merry christmas it's not christmas yet merry tuesday it's wednesday have a safe and fantastic rest of your day stay safe stay awesome and stay on the big ball